What's going on everyone? Derek with Lucid Grip and today I'm going to be talking about our three different glow in the dark grip options. Currently we have our green, purple, and blue. Now each one is the same granule size. I know in previous videos our purple, uh, yes it used to be on the heavy side but we just switched it over and it is now the same as our green and our blue which basically falls in between our light and medium uh, clear grip granule size. Now each glow is made up of a different phosphor that basically absorbs different wavelengths of light to give you that glow at night. Each one requires different charging methods to get that bright glow and longevity out of it. Now I'm going to keep all the science and nanometers and electromagnetic spectrums all to a minimum here. I'm just here to basically explain the basics of our glow and how to get that best charge and brightest glow out of each one. Uh, so I'm going to basically start off with our green one. Uh, our green glow in the dark is going to be the easiest to charge. Uh, and also our eyes are the most sensitive to green light. If you look at the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, green slash yellow falls right in the middle. So our eyes are super sensitive to green. Uh, I mean, we can see this, it's going to stand out the most to us, even in low light conditions, you're still going to see a nice bright glow to it. Also, it also uh, absorbs a wide variety of wavelengths, which makes it super easy for charging. You can charge this thing in indoor lighting, fluorescent lighting, you can use your flashlight on your phone, uh, or normal flashlight, uh, obviously the sun will work really well. Um, so the green is, is the easiest to charge. Uh, it's going to be the brightest at night, or at least the easiest for our eyes to adjust to and see at night. Now when it comes to the the, uh, the purple, uh, purple falls uh, towards the UV spectrum. And what we tell our customers with this one, it's not going to charge well with normal indoor lighting. You're going to need a UV light, such as this one right here. And it needs to be a UV light, not a flashlight, but a UV light. Or use nature's UV. Go outside, set it out in the sun, let it sit there, and you're gonna get a nice bright glow uh, from with the purple. And the same thing goes with our blue. The blue is kind of falls right near the purple on that spectrum, and the blue is gonna require, I mean, your best way to get it to, char uh, to charge and give you a nice bright glow is to stick it out in the sun, or again, use a UV light. Um, you can charge the blue indoors, but it's going to take a lot longer to, for the, uh, the blue uh, phosphor to absorb any kind of indoor lighting. Basic overview, green is the easiest to charge, purple and blue, use the sun. There's nothing wrong with the purple or blue. They look great at night. It's just a little bit more challenging to stick things out in the sun or use UV light, um, but they look great on, uh, at nighttime. So what I'm going to do here is I want to show you what each one looks like on a grip surface. Now this is just a natural uh, maple ply top and I have uh, spread out each grip type on the top of this deck. Um, the nose of the deck has our green, in the middle is our purple, and towards the tail is our blue. Um, now the each granule, uh, the green has a, does have a slight greenish tint to it. Uh, the purple and the blue have a slight white tint to it, um, but it's still, even with that light little tint, it's still kind of difficult to see on any kind of grip surface. You can see here that even with those light tints to it, it's still even hard to see on, on top of the deck or whatever surface you're gripping. So even if you wanted to put art or whatever you're trying to uh, grip, uh, you can still see through uh, really, really, really well with our glow, uh, glow options. Uh, so that's what it looks like basically in the light. Now I'm not outside, this deck has not been in the sun, uh, it hasn't expo been exposed to anything except for the lights in this room right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off. I'm gonna show you basically which, wh what they look like at nighttime. Now again, I'm gonna have to charge it. I have a UV light here with me. So I can show you what it's gonna look like without any charging. And then after I charge it, you'll get to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the lights off and let the uh, camera adjust here and that way I can give you a good little demo of which each one looks uh, looks like at nighttime. Okay. So in the camera, you can probably already see our green just from the lights inside uh, of this room has already given the, uh, the green glow a really nice well charge. Same with the blue. Like I said, the blue will charge inside uh, but you will get the best results with UV light with the blue. Now the purple, this one you can probably barely, barely see on the deck. Um, this one, we're going to require some charging. This is the one that I we tell all our customers it needs to sit out in 
the sun or under a UV light for quite a bit of time to get the glow to really shine. So I'm gonna use this UV light right here. Okay, I gave it a little bit of a charge. So I'm gonna turn the UV light off and then show you what it all looks like after a quick little charge with a UV light. Now this wasn't on there for very long so it didn't absorb that much light. But again, this is just a quick demo to show you what it's gonna look like. So there we go. So here at the tail, we have our blue, in the middle is our purple, and at the nose is our green. Again, the green being the brightest because our eyes are most sensitive to that particular light. And yeah, there we have it. All the uh, glow and the grip. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights back on. All right. So there's a quick uh, uh, glow, uh, glow demo. Um, I hope this answers some questions for you on the charging and all that kind of stuff. Um, again, the green, any light source, purple, the sun's going to be your best. Blue, it will charge with indoor lighting, but the quickest and easiest way is the sun. Um, and again, the top of the deck, you can still put art and all that kind of stuff underneath the, the grip and you can still see through. Um, that is our three different glow in the dark grip options. I hope that answers a lot of questions. If you do have questions, if you have concerns, if you have issues with any of this stuff, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Info at lucidgrip.com. You can also uh, reach out to us on Instagram, uh, Facebook. We are always there checking things out. Um, and also make sure to follow us, uh, subscribe to us, all that good stuff, all the social media stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.